Hello everyone, and welcome to another installment of Let's Play Monster Hunter 4. I'm Social Dissonance, also known as Shepard, here to show you something you've already seen probably plenty of times, hopefully you've done it yourself, uh, some run-throughs against the Great Jaggy. Uh, so I switched back to the default armor, um, probably won't really end up using this much at all after we fought Great Jaggy, so I thought we might as well give it some use. Don't really know the full armor skills, I know this is uh, recovery up. Don't know what this is. I thought it had something to do with stamina, but to be honest with you, I haven't really been able to translate it. So, anybody has any ideas, go ahead and post it down in the comments. Okay. So, oh, we don't talk to him. I'm going to go ahead and talk to the guild lady. And I've gone through and I've upgraded the weapons as much as possible without actually doing any jaggy or bug quests. Of course, we're going to do the great jaggy. Uh, I'm going to start it off with something pretty basic, just a uh, Fane Lance. Uh, required an awful lot of Macalite ore, um, but not really anything that you have a hard time getting. Uh, I just kept doing the Jaggy quest for money. <laughs> Do the Jaggy quest for the money because then you'll also um, fight the Jagia for the sub quest for an additional 600 zenny. And then you just go ahead and mine all the Macalite ore that's available. Well, we're not even going to get any sort of bonus life. That's actually really sad. Um, so, the food system is more or less exactly like it was in Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. You begin to level up your foods, so as you add stars to the food, that adds to your life. And as you eat fresh components, that adds to your stamina. In this case, I'll just get one point of stamina. Uh, probably not really worth it and probably not something I'll do again. Uh, although I guess it is kind of nice to have a little bonus to stamina and maybe a small bonus to attack. Okay, let's go ahead and mash him through. I don't imagine I'm going to actually get around to using that paralysis meat. Uh, I don't know that I've ever really gotten the Great Jaggy to ever actually eat anything that I set down. I'm sure he'll go for it if he's hungry, but I think if he sees you lay it, he won't eat it. So you have to almost kind of even lay it in another zone where you think he'll go to it, but I don't know. Never had enough time to experiment with it. I'm sure it'd be very effective, though. And I fought way too many Jaggies to want to even begin fighting that one. <laughs> I farmed them a ton for the money. really adorable seeing the Jaggy drink out of the water like that. He's getting yelled at by Dad! Hundrexia showed an awful lot of skills dodging all that. So I guess they make it really fun for you and have you start off riding the Great Jaggy, which is, I guess, a, a good introduction to it as any. He's actually kind of hard to land on, so it's kind of nice that they, they gave this to us. So right now it's telling me to hold the R button. And then it just wants me to mash the X button to begin pounding on him. And if you do it enough, it'll cause him to trip. Um, most monsters that'll actually land you near the head. I don't know if it's because this was a special thing or just the Great Jaggy in general, you don't land on the head when you knock him over like that. And so the lance remains more or less unchanged in its basic combos. The biggest thing is that the lance charge has gotten a buff. You can now use it to do kind of a leaping attack. Comboing, or uh, countering that is, is, works exactly the same as it worked in um, Monster Hunter. Uh, 
portable third in Monster Hunter 3 U, and that you can't do it after a uh, second attack, or a third attack, that is. She might be saying that the Great Jaggy's already weak. Or she might be saying, like, hey, idiot, don't. Don't overextend yourself. So I was hoping there that I'd be able to get off the uh, another riding, but uh, typically if they've already been ridden once, it's difficult to ride them again. They have a little bit of a recovery time. Of course, even with you know, being slightly nerfed like it was from Try, Counter is still, of course, extremely effective. <laughs> and, of course, Cha-Cha steals the kill, showing off that he is, again, the one true hero. So I made my decision on which weapons I would use it's going to be the long sword, sword and shield, the lance, the charge axe, the bug staff, the hammer, and the heavy bow gun. That's more or less the same amount of weapons that I used in my Monster Hunter Tri Let's Play. And so I'm assuming it'll take me as long to gauntlet the monsters. I just thought if I did all of the weapons, that would take forever. Uh, not to mention, you know, more weapons means more grinding, which means, you know, it'll take much longer to get through the releases. And we don't want that. We want this to be quick, easy, painless, easy to make, easy to upload, easy to watch. And I think after a couple, really, it must have been less than a minute. Yeah, three minutes. Not a whole lot of time actually spent fighting the Great Shaggy there. <laughs> 